you're here because you know something. What you know you can't explain, but you feel it. You felt it your entire life, that there's something wrong with the markets. You don't know what it is, but it's there, like a splinter in your mind, driving you mad. It is this feeling that has brought you to me. Today, I'm gonna to show you how Bitcoin is priced by Goldback. Now, Bitcoin was supposed to be the savior, the freedom coin that would allow us to escape the matrix. But today I'm gonna to show you that even Bitcoin is priced by the system. It's priced by Goldback. And once you know these Goldback levels and how Bitcoin uses them, then you understand how deep the system is. We must know the power of three but not the power of three that ICT manipulates us with, the real power of three numbers. These are the keys to unlocking price and the system that controls every market, even Bitcoin. I've produced a table showing the powers of three, and I will focus on three to the power eight up to three to the power 11 for Bitcoin. And I can show you how far back this manipulation goes. Now, let me first map out these numbers. Firstly, we're going to start with the range from the price of zero to three to the power eight. And these are the horizontal lines that depict this price range. Even as far back as 2017, the system was manipulating the price opening the indicator and using the upper range of 6,561 and running the price back, you will start seeing that even back then, the price was set by the algorithm. So as I've explained in previous videos, the gold back levels depict the dealing range for the algorithm will create the ICT premium discount arrays in. And you'll see here on the yearly chart, the Bitcoin dump that we had in 2014 was purely to create this down close candle. Now what is a down close candle, it is an order block. So there's your yearly order block in the order block GB level. Now if we zoom into the six month chart, we get a little bit more detail. So if we have a look at the bodies of the six month, There is your order block in the order block GB level. And here's your fair value gap, which started from the fair value gap GB level, and then it extended to the liquidity void. Now, what does a liquidity void mean? A liquidity void is the impulse candle that happens after you have the order block in the fair value gap, which just sends price one way. So this is the buy algorithm kicking in. And this is the, the candle that a lot of people miss. And then you have that move away. So we had our fair value gap after the order block in the order block GB level. We had our fair value gap and the displacement away in the fair value gap and liquidity void levels. What you must understand is once we break a dealing range for an asset like Bitcoin, which is a commodity, so all commodities essentially don't have a cap to their price. Technically, they can have an infinite price. So the algorithm has to be able to price in future movements. And it does this by increasing the power of three dealing range. So once we had surpassed 6,561, the next dealing range was 19,683. 
we, so we see a very interesting reaction. Do you see that? So if we change our dealing range here to 19,683, you'll see price moved to the high of that dealing range and then repelled away. Now this orange line and this orange line are called extensions. They're used for something else and I'll remove these just so that we can clearly see the high of the range and the low of the range and focus on these for this video. So now we are using the dealing range which is from zero to 19,683. See here? 19,683. And what did we have? A fair value gap in the fair value gap GB level. So even while creating price structure within the 6,561 range, the algorithm took into account that when it goes to the 19,626 range, it needs to leave a fair value gap in the appropriate level. So just to show you again, when we were in the previous dealing range, This area was around the mitigation block where it left the displacement. It left that displacement because it knew it would surpass this particular range and it would need a fair value gap in the fair value gap level of the next range up, of the next power of three up. And there you go. So we created the fair value gap in the right place. Now it doesn't have to be exact as long as it's within the vicinity price retraced to that fair value gap to ensure there's efficient pricing and then we took off again. After that, what was the logical target? So we are playing within the 19,683 range here. Once we surpass this range, we're allowed to expand up to 59,049. So marking that value out, if you knew about goal back, back then, this would have been your logical target, 59,049. So we fill the fair value gap. So do you see here that this is the true fair value gap? When we filled it back in here, it became a balanced price range. And this is why price respected this level. It did not respect this fair value gap because this is not a fair value gap. This is the fair value gap, which is in the fair value gap GB level. So that's what we retraced down to. So when we penetrated this dealing range, the power of three number we started using or referencing was 59,049 and the associated premium discount arrays for the 59,049 GB levels. So if we change our power of three number in the indicator to take into account that we have now violated this range, this is now what we're working in. Again, do you see that we have our order block? in the order block GB level. So order block, fair value gap in the right places. There's your order block and there's your fair value gap. It's quite a big one. And we respected this order block, because this is a true order block now. When we're, when we're using the 59,000 
and 49 range, and we're bullish, we're going to respect the bullish PDA raise. In this case, it was this order block that was in the correct GB level. So price is now creating structures and playing within this dealing range, which is 3 to the power 10. Now, we have violated this range, but there are extra teachings that we have in Hoppy's Discord and the associated book, which will get you, give you greater, greater confluence and understanding of whether we have been accepted into the dealing range higher or not. In this case, we rejected it. Do you see how we did not pass above the extension level. That's a hint on what the extension levels indicate. At this point, we violated the extension level and is my understanding, price is now referencing the higher power of three, which is 177,147. So if we mark that out, moving to the yearly time frame, now what do we have? We have the order block in the order block GB level, and we have the fair value gap in the fair value gap GB level. When referencing three to the power 11 as the dealing range for Bitcoin. We digged into the fair value gap. Now, to summarize, Bitcoin, the way the system works and way Goldback works, once the powers that be and AI started taking care of the Bitcoin price and controlling it, it was using the power of three numbers as the dealing range. And as each dealing range was violated, it used the power of three number higher as its maximum target. And the associated PDRAs were then being respected. Now, I'm not saying Bitcoin is guaranteed to hit 177,147. There's a lot that can happen between now and then, especially with the system and those in control wanting to release their own central bank digital currencies. But this should give you an idea of how deep the rabbit hole goes. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. If you would like to learn more about Goldback, for every asset, you can purchase Hoppy's book. And that will also give you access to the Discord, where we go over and we teach some very advanced callback concepts. My Golden Bullet mentorship is still open. That is the strategy I use to trade Forex. If you'd like to book a call with me, you can click the link in the description below.